And welcome once again, Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment, and uh, hope you enjoyed the last segment. We have a very exciting segment for part two. Uh, we had Tyann in uh, the first segment. We have Wendy Barnett here for the second segment. Uh, president of Utilities Inc. Of, of Central Nevada. Of Central Nevada. Wendy's has been in the the paper and the news of late, and it's and basically it's been all positive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and I just had to have her come on the show because you'll you probably see her in the news, newspapers. I've got one sitting in front of me, and it's it's all good things. And why are these things good? good? Well, because we finally um, own uh, the Willow Creek property and are going to be able to remediate it. Of course, our first priority is to maintain our plant and make sure it stays reliably operating. Um, second, we want to go in and remediate the hazards that were left by the former golf course owner. And then third, we want to develop that, that property uh, for, to something to benefit to the community, but in partnership with the community. Right. It's 160 acres, so there's a lot of possibilities. Wow, yes. And there's a, you've got a lot of people involved with it already because you turned on one of the irrigation wells. We have a lot of people involved and a lot of people bringing ideas, and we're hoping we'll get more ideas. Um, yes, the creek is full for the first time in over five years. We're really excited. Uh, the residents volunteered uh, their labor, their time, their equipment to go clean out the creek bed. Mm -hmm. And then we turned on our well 10, which is an irrigation well, and its sole purpose is to feed that property. Oh, that's great. And uh, the picture was, uh, the one I was referring to is in the, just happens to be the Prump Valley Times for, uh, what we, this is Friday. Uh, so if you go see that, and it's just a beautiful picture. It doesn't look like Prump, uh, the river rock on the side. And it's just a, a, a creek runs through it. We actually have a Facebook page where you can go see those pictures as well. We do almost okay. updates almost every day about what we're doing out at Willow Creek. We think it's exciting for the community. I mean, the golf course closed its doors in October of 2008. This oh, has God. been a long time coming, yes. and we're really excited about the potential that we have with that property. Mm -hmm. What, what page was that? Number Facebook? It's Utilities Inc. of Central Nevada. Okay. Uh, on Facebook, or you can just Google Refocus of Willow Creek, and the the Google page brings up a link that you can click. Okay, great. So I know uh, at the library we have uh, Judy Gilmore uh, brought some information uh, with the community come becoming part of the uh, the creek, the restoration. We're you're going to have a uh, what's it called a re the refocus, refocus of Willow Creek. Refocus of Willow Creek. It'd be a good TV show. Yeah. Uh, Carol Cantino actually coined that, and I liked it, and I stole it. Okay. But uh, as part of the refocus of Willow Creek, we're going to have a renaming contest. And so we're asking people with uh, more creative minds than I have to submit their ideas. And there's a couple ways to submit the ideas. You can email bewatersmart at uiwater.com, or you can fax your entry in at 775 Seven two seven seven eight seven nine. As John said, there is forms available at the library. They're also at the county complex right now. Or you can email us, and we will be sure to send you a form. Uh, you can enter as many names as you want to enter. If there are duplicate names, and a duplicated name is selected, then the first person that submitted the name will be the winner. And I forgot. What is the? What do you win? You win a high efficiency washing machine. We actually uh, just went and um, picked it out at Home Depot. We're doing this in conjunction with Home Depot. They're one of our community partners. Oh. We have several others I'll tell you about too. Um, it's a Maytag, made in the US, high efficiency washing machine, and it uh, is valued at 878, can't quite remember, almost $900. Right, it's right. a very nice washing machine. And if you are a UACN customer, you will still get the $75 rebate that you're eligible for for buying um, a high efficiency washing machine and saving water, even though we're giving it to you. Not a bad deal. I, I just got a brand new, uh, my, my, my fiance Patty and myself have got uh, a couple of uh, a washer and a dryer, high efficiency also. And it was, it was made by somebody else, but Sears, but I made sure it was American made. It was made in Wisconsin by uh, Whirlpool. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's great that uh, it's made in America. So and thanks uh, for partnering with uh, Home Depot for that, because oh, they do so much for thanks, the community. Thanks so much to Home Depot. Um, some other community partners we have is Prompt Valley Disposal has volunteered to chip all the dead trees for us. And then they'll store that chip until we can develop it into some kind of open space park. 
Um, they've also said that when we have the park, that they'll put trash cans out for us along the park and be responsible for the trash. Mm -hmm. The Audubon Society, the Red Rock Audubon Society, um, has volunteered not only their expertise in protecting the habitats out there, mm -hmm. they are supplying $20,000 for to improve some irrigation system out there. They've applied for a grant with us. Um, at, they're not for profit and we're for profit. They've applied for the, the grant and we're the wow. matching partner okay. uh, to Toyota. So we're hoping to get some more monies uh, to be able to develop this. Right now we're working on a master plan and we have um, an open mic night on uh, October 1st at the Mountain Falls Grill Room at six o'clock. So if you have ideas for what you'd like to do with this 160 acres, please come share them with us. Um, the email, bewatersmart at uiwater.com, you can always submit uh, ideas that way too. That is uh, Judy Gilmore, our water conservation coordinator, checks that every day. Oh, great. I know she's working with Donna Lamb from uh, Southern Eye County, Southern Eye County Conservation District to talk about water with, with the schools and stuff. You're doing so much. Uh, good to, to educate everybody, and this is going to be an education uh, in progress also. That the, the whole idea we have behind this land, at least a portion of it, is to create an education park and show different kinds of water uses. We don't want to tell people how they want to, how to use the water, but we're hoping that we'll educate them on how the, they can use water wisely. So that if you want to have a lawn, there's a difference in the grasses that you plant and the water consumption. Uh, if you'd like to do something a little more creative like Xeriscape and see how beautiful that is and do a demonstration garden. But along with educating about water, mm -hmm. you would also see the different kinds of flora, fauna, birds that you would see in these different water environs. So that's kind of the concept about uh, behind it. And the Red Rock Audubon Society has um, joined it with us. We've entered into a memorandum of understanding mm -hmm. to make this education park happen. Um, other people have there's lots of ideas out there, you know, from a little frontier to uh, frisbee golf to uh, bandstand to airplanes. There's lots and lots of ideas out there. And so we're also looking for partners in the community uh, to help us develop this master plan to sort through all the ideas because there's a lot out there. And so what, what is really the benefit to the community? What do we want to do with this 160 acres? So we're, I'm excited. It, this has been such a long time coming, John. Yeah, I know. It's it's it was getting really stale, like, <laughs> like the area was, and now it, it's it's coming back to life. It's and, coming back to life, and it, it's it's just truly exciting. You had mentioned Judy Gilmore and mm -hmm. all the work that she does to educate people, and I just want to give her some kudos. Utilities Inc. of Central Nevada won the Nevada Rural Water Association. Um, annual award for our efforts in water uh, conservation education, and that's due to Judy's hard work. Yes. So we thank you, Judy, and uh, my own uh, counterpart, Donna Lamb, with the, uh, some of the Nye County Conservation District. It is really nice to be working with Nye County. Yes. Really nice. I think the more people that we can do to educate on water conservation and how mm -hmm. to use water wisely, the better. Um, Donna's awesome. Yes. So it, it's the education. You don't want to be water Nazis or anything, but you want to tell the people what's the, the best way to, uh, to use the, the limited amount of water that we have, because without water, we cannot survive. That's right. And we just want to give them the information so that they can make their own decisions wisely. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's aware that um, Basin 162, also known as the Prump Basin, is highly um, over-appropriated. Um, there's a lot more water right then there is water. And the better we protect um, our, our resource, the better off we'll be in the long run. Mm -hmm. So as, uh, you're educating us, and then we could take that and um, go to, well, while we still have the town board, town board meetings, and then also commissioner meetings, and, and make our stance uh, heard about the water conservation when they make uh, decisions, or for the water board also, uh, go there and have an informed uh, uh, thought process of uh, what we're talking about. Absolutely, we live in the desert, and even places that aren't desert, water is becoming scarcer and scarcer. Mm -hmm. And some of the solutions, such as desalinization, are incredibly expensive. I think using water wisely is a wise decision. Mm -hmm. So, so um, this is, yeah, like you know, we've been talking about, it's very exciting. It's a long time in coming. I saw it when it was nice and green when I first came into town, like 99. And uh, then it went just, it was barren. And it just, it was such a shame. It is a shame. And we've already lost 
a lot of the trees. Yeah, I the, think the last count was 147. Right, and then they'll be taken out and uh, brought over to right. uh, John what? Shea over at uh, the Front Valley Disposal. They'll chip them up. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The um, the process is uh, we have approval from the Public Utilities Commission for our project to remediate, mm -hmm. and we have approval from the Nevada Division of Environmental Protection. Uh, right now, there's some Nye County approvals pending. Mm -hmm. And so for people, and we get calls, you know, this tree is dead, it's going to fall, you know, what are you, what are you going to do about it? Well, we have to get permits and part of that permitting process. Um, but it will be to, re to remediate the, the dead trees. And when we go to decide what trees we're going to take down, we're going to do that in partnership uh, with Chief Scott and with the Scott Audubon, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Scott Lewis, yes. and the Audubon Society because we want to make sure that we're getting rid of the fire hazards out there that Scott's concerned about. And then we also want to make sure that we don't destroy a habitat. Right, so you're going to keep some dead trees up there. I, Richard and I were at a meeting at the Southern Eye County Conservation District the other day. We'll keep some dead trees up there for the habitat. Right. I think they've marked five yes, trees yeah. that, that they, they'd like to protect for habitat. Yeah, so they would be uh, the safer ones and something that is able to be used by the uh, the, uh, the riparians. The riparians. Riparians, yes. I, yes. 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 So... Uh, wrapping it up, we have a couple minutes left. What you, uh, what's the, the message we want to get out to the folks? We want them to come out for I, the... I, yeah, I really want to do this in partnership with the community, and that takes the community talking with us. Yes. It's, um, it's not, not anything I can do on my own. I guess the other thing I'd like to mention is part of this project is to put in rapid infiltration basins, so they will be recharged to Basin 162. Mm -hmm. But please come join us on October 1, at six o'clock at the Mountain Falls and share your ideas with us. So, and then you can get these little forms uh, to rename uh, the uh, the area mm -hmm. over at the library, probably at Utilities Inc. Utilities Inc, you can. Uh, you can get them at the county building and if you'd like us, just email them to you. Just email bewatersmart at uiwater.com. So it's always a pleasure to spend some time with you to learn what's happening on the water side. Uh, positive water sign. Yeah, I submitted the John Pollock Memorial Park. What do you think? Don't do that. <laughs> uh, that'll go next to the Charlie Grande uh, <laughs> Memorial Airport too. So don't do not do that to me, please. <laughs> so thank you very much. And we will be leaving you right now smiling because uh, that, that was a good joke. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, Patrick. And uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>